Hello and welcome again. Today we look at yet another calculation type question for IB chemistry. Calculate the acid dissociation constant Ka at 298 Kelvin for a 0 0.010 moles per dm cubed solution of propanoic acid. This is the formula of propanoic acid. The pH of that solution is 3.43. Now what you need to know for this question is that propanoic acid is a weak acid. So therefore, its pH of 3.43 does not line up with its concentration of 0 0.10 because it's not completely dissociated. If you have an acid like hydrochloric acid or nitric acid, HNO3, these are strong acids. And when you are given the concentration of a strong acid, a monoproteic acid like nitric and hydrochloric acids, then it's a simple equation. You simply take the concentration and you find the negative log to the base 10 of that molar hydrogen ion concentration. In this particular case, if this were a strong monoproteic acid, one with just one hydrogen like HCl or HNO3, then you simply take its concentration, you find the negative log to the base 10, and of course if the concentration is 1, this would come to 0. If it's 0.1, it would come to an answer of 1, and here it's 0 0.01, so it should come to an answer of 2. That would be the pH. If that were the concentration, and this were a strong monoprotic acid, like hydrochloric or nitric acids, but it's not. It's a weak acid, which means it's not completely dissociated. So let's first consider what do we mean by not completely dissociated? Well, here, of course, you have propanoic acid, this reversible sign, and then you have the two ions that this would dissociate into. But what this shows to you is that if propanoic acid is sitting in solution, then not all of this entity is converted into these two entities, which is the case with a strong acid. So if we were to write this down for a strong acid, we won't have this reversible arrow here, which shows that some of the propanoic acid is in this form and some is in this form, which means it's not completely dissociated. A weak acid, like propanoic acid, is not completely dissociated. If you put it into solution, you don't have all of it immediately releasing all of its hydrogen, which would be the case if it were a strong acid. A strong acid would immediately do that. So therefore, if you have a strong acid and you're given a concentration here, you can immediately say that that's going to be related to the hydrogen ion concentration here. And if it's a monoprotic acid, then whatever this concentration is, then it matches this. But this is not the case for a weak acid like propanoic acid. And to find out its pH, we need to consider what happens at equilibrium and to quantify that equilibrium. We have the entity Ka, the acid dissociation constant at 298, which gives a number to represent this equilibrium. And that expression is quite similar to the equilibrium expression that we studied about in chapter 17 where you take the concentration of these two entities, you find the product of them, and you divide that by the concentration of this entity. To help organize all of the data in the calculation, you might recall that we spoke about using the ICE method. So the first part of that calculation would say I, the initial, with this concentration for propanoic acid, and zero for these two ions. And here we've been given the pH of the solution. 3.43. We should remember that pH is the negative log to the base 10 of the hydrogen ion concentration in solution. So this could give us a hint as to this. And because the equation says that this concentration is equal to this one, then if we take this pH value here and we reverse the pH calculation, then we could figure out the hydrogen ion concentration, the concentration of this ion, and then we could, by subtraction, figure out the concentration of this species. So 
reversing the pH formula, which is taking the anti-log of 3.43, or using this expression, 10 to the negative 3.43 into your calculator, which is the same as 10 to the negative whatever pH value you have. In this case, it comes to 3.7 by 10 to the power of negative 4. Acid dissociation constant Ka, this expression holds. The concentrations that go into this expression are these. Noting here that we have 3.7 by 10 to the negative 4, the same here because they exist as a 1 to 1 ratio. And then here we don't subtract anything from this starting concentration. Noting that we should theoretically subtract something, but in the end, it won't make much of a mathematical difference to the answer because this number is so much larger than this one. And the final answer when you solve this is 1.4 by 10 to the minus 5 moles per dm cubed. Now I would like you to try these two problems.